up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel I am gold pony I do new car truck SUV reviews on YouTube and today we are in the new 2021 Lexus IS 350 F Sport courtesy of Bobby Ray Hall Lexus in Mechanicsburg PA for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below i am super excited to be in this thing today the second i sat in this thing i felt like a rock star this is such a nice car i can tell you already but having said that i wanted to check this one out because of course the 2021 is 350 has been refreshed for the 2021 model year it's actually 30 millimeters wider than the previous is as well which is pretty cool it gives it a more aggressive look of course and it should give it better handling as well but we're going to test that out a little bit also the is is known for near perfect reliability essentially you guys can look on auto trader or something you see a lot of is is being sold with 200,000 plus miles these things last forever of course it's a lexus it's as expected right and so all in all it will be going over everything about the new is so we'll be testing out acceleration braking handling sound system exhaust clip everything essentially so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing so when it comes to the is 350 there are actually two different configurations you can go with for this one there is the rear wheel drive configuration starting at forty two thousand nine hundred dollars and then there is the all-wheel drive which we have today starting at forty four thousand nine hundred dollars but regardless power plant is going to be the same powering the is 350 is a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated v6 putting out 311 horsepower at 6600 rpm 280 pound feet of torque at 4800 rpm power sent to rear wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters which you guys know we will test out in a little bit here but zero to 60 time comes in at approximately 5.6 seconds top speed 143 miles per hour with mpg numbers coming Coming in at approximately 20 in the city 28 on the highway so before we do that paddle shifter tester acceleration test I did want to mention there are some drive modes there's actually a circular dial just to the right of the shifter it's going to adjust between normal sport sport plus custom snow and eco adjusting things like the shift points throttle response steering sensitivity all-wheel drive system engagement if you get the all-wheel drive system of course and the suspension settings actually as well so now having said all that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find a straightaway and let's just put the paddle shifters to the test here and let's see how quickly these paddle shifters are going to react for us here. All right, so before we do this paddle shifter test, I wanted to mention one more thing. If you slide the shifter all the way to the back and to the left, that is actually going to give you full control over the shifting, a full manual shift mode, if you will. So having said that, here it is. Here is our straightaway. Let's shift down to first gear. There we are. And in three, two, one, go! Whoa! Quick. Yeah. I like that sound too. They'll do just fine. That was a, a, a very quick reactive paddle shifter. So they, they're fine. Not the quickest I've ever tested, but definitely very quick. And I love that. And let me get full, back full control to the IS. But one thing I wanted to mention to you guys, there's actually an ASC button. It's labeled ASC by the driver's side left knee. That is going to be your simulated engine sound that kind of pumps that extra loudness into the cabin when you really hit the gas like I just did. So like I was saying, kind of a loud acceleration there, probably because of that mostly, but I kind of liked it. I think I'm going to leave it up, but did want to mention that to you guys because there is that simulated sound. If you wanted it, leave it on. If you don't want it, turn it off. But now having said that, what do you guys say? Let's get back to our straightaway and let's get back full control to the IS. Let's see how quickly this thing is gonna get us up to speed. From a standstill in three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> wow, that does not feel like zero to 60 in 5.6. I feel like that was quicker. That felt good, like dang good in this all wheel drive IS350 that we have here today. That was a wonderful acceleration, you guys. I gotta be honest, it's been a, Oh, I miss my Mustang now, but dang, that was a very nice acceleration without a doubt. No issues emerging onto the highway. But to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 13.2 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 11.7 inch ventilated rear discs. As far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes, it comes in at 110 feet. And I will say the braking feel 
feels like that. That's absolutely wonderful. It's a wonderful number, 110 feet. A lot of times sedans will give you around 120 or 124-ish, so 110 is definitely a performance sedan without a doubt, and there's no brake pedal delay or anything like that, so that is on point. Touching on suspension and handling, of course, you're gonna get an independent front and rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars as well. Torsen Limited Slip Rear Differential, if you go with the rear wheel drive, of course, that is definitely nice. It's gonna send torque to the rear wheel with the most traction, so not only is that gonna assist with handling, it's also gonna assist with acceleration, of course, as well. And do wanna mention one additional thing. We actually do have an optional package option that is labeled F-Sport Dynamic Handling Package. That goes for $3,800. That gives you an adaptive damping suspension. This is one I always like to recommend. Reason being is because it really does give you the best of both worlds. It's not only going to tighten up the suspension during heavy cornering, but it is also going to read the roads imperfections to give you a much smoother ride as well. So whenever there is an option, no matter what manufacturer we're talking about, adaptive damping suspensions are really the way to go without a doubt you will notice the difference i certainly notice the difference whenever there's a choice without a doubt so for that particular reason ride quality is absolutely amazing in the is i've driven a lot of sedans lately i will say that and the is honestly may be the smoothest riding sedan i've been in in quite a while so well done lexus I have hit so many potholes and bad road imperfections in Pennsylvania here, and this is just soaking it up like it's nothing. So absolutely well done there. As far as steering feel goes, the very first thing I noticed when I got in this one, steering feel, even without it being in sport or sport plus driving mode, it has such a heavy weight to it. I absolutely love it. It takes me back to the Mustang GT which also had a very heavy weight to it, like a Challenger Hellcat even. So it's definitely a very nice steering feel. And again, it's weighted just perfectly for the IS, giving you a better feeling of being in control and really that feeling of being in a sports sedan once again. As far as cabin noise goes, it's a Lexus. What do you expect? It certainly absorbs a lot of the wind noise and everything else. So there isn't a whole lot of exterior noises whatsoever coming into the cabin. So I love that. And since we're pulling up to a red light, touching a visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back, no issues whatsoever. And you really shouldn't have any issues with sedans for the most part. So all in all, when it comes to driving dynamics, I have had such a blast so far. But what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find a spot at the dealership. And let's now take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2021 Lexus IS350 F Sport. All right, so here she is, you guys, the completely revised 2021 Lexus IS350, completely blacked out. Looks absolutely amazing in my opinion, but let's go ahead and start up front of this one. By LED headlights do come standard with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark at night, those headlights are going to turn on automatically for you there. LED daytime running lights, of course, coming standard as well. Did want to mention an option when it comes to the headlights, though. There are actually premium triple beam headlights, a little extra visibility there for an additional $1,250 if you were interested. Make our way to the middle of it all. Lexus spindle front grille, of course, definitely looks very nice up front. And you will also find an F Sport specific front end with the IS350, of course. And there are going to be some added air curtains within the bottom corners of that front bumper then as well, helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination. But definitely a very menacing, very aggressive look up front, especially with the wider stance for the 2021 IS. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the side of this one. Chrome window surrounds do come standard. Power adjustable heated side mirrors with LED integrated turret signals, also standard. F Sport specific side skirts, love that as well. And you do get some F Sport badging found on the front fender. You guys probably saw that already. Taking a look down at the wheels, 19 inch split five spoke alloys is the standard configuration. However, you guys probably noticed it's not the ones we got today. We actually have 19 inch split seven spoke forged matte black BBS wheels. I love these things. Matte black look is absolutely amazing. And of course, BBS is a known wheel manufacturer known for making lightweight racing wheels. So this is definitely a very cool wheel setup. I will say that. And again, this comes with the dynamic handling package. That's how we have this setup right now. But all in all, once again, looks very good. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back of the IS. 
carbon fiber rear spoiler. I love this. This again comes with the dynamic handling package and no, this is not fake carbon fiber. This is authentic. This is the real thing. Absolutely love that. A little bit of extra downforce, I guess you could say, but it looks cool either way. LED taillights coming standard once again. F Sport specific rear bumper, as you can imagine. And just below it all, dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. So do you believe you guys know what we have to do next? As always, here is that exhaust clip. It's open now since we are around back of the IS. When it comes to opening that rear trunk, you can, of course, there's a button on the key fob, I should say. There's also a button on the trunk itself and a button in the driving position then as well. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 10.8 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for extra space than if you needed it. If you're wondering if the IS comes with a spare tire or a fix a flat, it actually comes with a spare tire. It's actually gonna be located underneath of the cargo floor for anybody who is curious about that. Also, you can find a first aid kit back in that cargo area. I found that pretty cool. There's actually tie down anchors as well, which surprised me because usually tie down anchors you find on SUVs, but seldomly on sedans. So I thought that was pretty cool actually, but making our way now to the rear legroom that comes in at 32.2 inches. So for reference, I mean, even six feet tall, this is how much space I had back there. Also rear center armrest with cup holders will come standard rear ventilation in the back as well one of the room for improvements i guess you could say in the back seats at least is there's no charging ports back there or none that i was able to find so no rear usb charging ports or anything like that so that would have been nice to see that but now making our way to the front seats 10-way power adjustable driver's seat with power lumbar eight-way power adjustable passenger seat comes standard as well it's pretty cool heated and ventilated front seats will come standard on the is 350 as well will come with a leather finish and have i ever mentioned before i think i have F Sport seats in any Lexus are the most comfortable seats in existence right now out of the 500 and some cars I've tested. I always say this, even if I'm not reviewing a Lexus, F Sport seats are the most comfortable without a doubt. They're bolstered perfectly as well, meaning they're gonna hold you in place if you take turns a little bit quicker than you should. But overall, they are just perfectly comfortable. So you guys could test that out for yourself. They really are though. But taking a look now though at the steering wheel, it is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped with ash wood accents. I love this. The second I hopped in this one, I was like, there's some ash wood trim on the top part of the steering wheel. That's pretty darn cool. I like that. Anyways, it is heated steering wheel. That comes standard as well. And you do have some F-Sport badging then towards the bottom then too. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup. You do have your Lexus logo on the one side and on the other side, it's a pretty basic key. Just lock, unlock, and the button to pop the rear hatch. But it is all keyless entry with the push button start. So all I'm going to do is simply put my foot to the brake and press that engine start button there. And so once started up, when it comes to the gauges, it is a very simplistic design. A little bit but at the same time these are LFA inspired gauges I absolutely love that the reason I like it is because you can actually hit a button on the steering wheel and it can slide that circular part of the gauge to the left and the right or should I say the center and to the side so it's pretty cool setup there and you can of course customize what you want to display up there using the steering wheel mounted controls as well i found that pretty cool overall in a world with a bunch of 12.3 inch digital gauge clusters right now or standard analog gauges i would say these gauges are as good as just about all other gauges right now because they are unique and they're inspired by lexus's supercar so i absolutely love them for that reason but so now making our way to overall interior quality power moonroof is going to be optional on the is that goes for eleven hundred dollars Dual zone climate control does come standard. You will find aluminum sport pedals also coming standard on this one. Of course, you have plenty of charging ports and really it's finished like a Lexus. So that pretty much says it all. There's actually an analog clock they still keep in this thing, which I found pretty cool. It's kind of a throwback at this point, but I actually really like it. Overall, like I said, even with our full black interior, although they do offer other color options for the interior, it's still amazing materials used in the Lexus and overall interior quality is absolutely amazing. But now 
Now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen because it is going to differ slightly actually. 8 inch color touchscreen display does come standard. However, there is an optional 10.3 inch high resolution color touchscreen display. It's going to come with a couple different package options if you wanted it, but there's also going to be actually a touchpad controller that you can use, which is pretty convenient as well. I actually prefer that because to use the touchscreen, it is a bit of a reach. So I like the touchpad controller personally, but Bluetooth audio streaming do come standard Android Auto, Apple CarPlay as well. If you wanted factory navigation system that goes for $1,670, although you really don't need it because if you have a smartphone, you could just simply hook it up to the iOS and then you have free navigation that way. And Google Maps is pretty reliable at this point. You can of course check out weather information up there as well. And of course your radio settings. And this is where it really gets good. Standard sound system comes with 10 speakers, which quite honestly is pretty good. But if you wanted to, there is an optional sound system that goes for $2,750. That is the 17 speaker Mark Levinson sound system that comes with 1800 watts that is the one we have today you guys of course so having said that what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one ridiculous amount of bass there my goodness this mark levinson sound system that was a wonderful amount of bass, plenty of clarity. That was a really, really good sound system for the IS without a doubt. And so the last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that tech display is when you do put the IS in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard. However, I will say I was kind of bummed out to see it only took up a small portion of that screen itself. So I wouldn't have minded if they made that a little bit bigger, but nonetheless, it's still there. And as always, that is going to lead us into safety. And so front side, side curtain airbags do come standard. Driver knee airbag as well in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system then as well and of course all that's pretty basic at this point some of the more exciting standard safety features though are going to include a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection lane tracing assist lane departure alert with steering assist road sign assist dynamic radar cruise control which is pretty cool essentially the car steers hits the gas and brakes for you when you have that on automatic high beams which is also very nice blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert also comes standard and there are some additional optional safety features including intuitive parking assist with automatic braking six hundred dollars there there's also intuitive park assist with automatic braking and rear pedestrian detection and a panoramic view monitor as well in case you were curious if that was available that goes for fourteen hundred dollars with all of that but Overall, when it comes to my final thoughts of the IS350, the redesign looks flawless, especially with the dynamic handling package. The reason being, I love those wheels. The BBS wheels are amazing. The carbon fiber spoiler, I'm also a big fan of having carbon fiber on my cars in the past. Of course, that's when I was modifying them, but nonetheless, the redesign with the wider stance definitely looks amazing. Most comfortable seats in the world, I swear to you, after testing all the cars that I have, they really are. F-Sport seats are the best. Also incredibly reliable. You guys know when you buy an IS, it's going to last 200,000 plus miles, more than likely, as long as you take care of it. Just look at Auto Trader and all the cars for for sale all the is cars for sale over 200,000 miles it's amazing also some very cool lfa inspired gauges i've always liked that awesome steering feel it's a nice nice weight to it it's definitely on the heavier side which i personally love as far as constructive criticism goes the rear leg room of course you don't have a whole lot going on back there also when it comes to the competitors you're going to get a little better driving dynamics definitely better acceleration without a doubt just take the genesis g70 maybe 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds for that one bmw 3 series might be close to that as well but so performance could be a little bit better but at the same time when you have maybe a twin turbo v6 like the genesis does you're going to sacrifice reliability so depends on what you're really looking for if you want reliability you're not going to beat lexus and of course you got all those awesome reasons that i just mentioned and so but that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on tiktok at the bottom of the screen there if you wanted to see what's coming next on our channel before it actually gets to youtube be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold <laughs>